Ah, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to do a quick Amazing Wasteiest video. Um, just don't feel like even uh, injecting any humor. Um, <laughs> so whatever, it's just whatever it's going to be. doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, I just went through whatever, 30 minutes or 20 whatever minutes of his crap um, ponage video of Nuclear Night. And he, you know, drags the thing out, and it was this was really just nothing. It was nothing. So I mean, I mean, I got a couple of emails saying, "Oh, you got to say something." This horrible, horrible, horrible. And it's like to me, he just put his big fat feet in his big fat mouth. So he didn't really win that one. I mean, he's apologizing to the Ku Klux Klan for associating them with feminism, this dark, horrible force that has imposed absolutely nothing on you. <laughs> you know. So even the worst of the feminists have no power whatsoever. Um, so what are you what are you fretting about in the first place? Uh, so some people don't. Uh, well anyway, uh, so he's using evolution to basically defend. Uh, we can't help ourselves. Um, I don't know whether Nuclear Knight pointed out somewhere in her video that he did validate date rape, which I think was the bigger crime in the context of the discussion, so I can't say how he manipulated her video in responding to it, because that might have been one for him to deal with. Um, he talks like he's some kind of, uh, you know, outsider, and he just appeals to the lowest common denominator in every opportunity. Um, you know, he'll, he'll do the, uh, yeah, rich whitey has a right to discriminate against a darkie, and then he'll do a video talking about the dark man and his rights, <laughs> you know, which is just such a pile of shit. He's always playing both sides, except for issues on vegetarian or something where he's real safe, or feminism, where he's real safe, and he can he can talk about throwing hamburgers out the window or slapping a bitch because he knows his audience is a bunch of little male fucktards, um, you know, thirteen year olds. Um, he was even talking like, yeah, he's a great entertainer and philosopher, and uh, implying that somehow his audience is a credible. Uh, validation or proof of that, <laughs> you know. Um, I, yeah, we, I'd love to see his audience. You know, I'd li like to see a little little image map of his fucking audience. Um, you know, who's entertained by this 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 bozo, the the scary clown. Um, so anyway, on the subject of feminism, well, look, this is, this is not that complicated. I mean, there's people who have been harmed in life, uh, some women, and they've seen harm. And uh, they, they know what kind of male imposed the harm, okay? And it was a male who just objectified women, had no capacity to see anything more than what they wanted. And so, yeah, that spills over to all men. You're always going to, that's going to happen. Uh, you know, a few women hurt your feelings and all women all of a sudden are going to suck. That's the way it works. That's the way human psychology works. So you're going to expect some of that. But this male argument on the other side that somehow... You know, everything we do and everything we obsess about uh, doesn't have any implications, even the violence kind of notions, the idea that we can wallow in it, and it doesn't, it doesn't leak anywhere. Of course it does leak. You can see the leakage. You can see the personalities that are attracted to it. Um, it's, not, it's not a, you know, it, it's not strange that, the, you know, it's only, it's a bunch of cops who are in our town shooting deers with bows and arrows. What other kind of personality would have define that as a good time? Let's go out this morning and shoot some little mammals with pointy sticks and make blood pop out of them. Um, you know, it's not exactly the average human being's um, source of entertainment. Um, so anyway, um, but you know, human beings we all have to take responsibility for our existence and. And there's a lot wrong with our evolution, so use that as a justification like the amazing fucktard is doing, as if it defends or justifies anything. If we ate brains, uh, you know, 3,000 years ago, that wouldn't mean we have to eat brains today. And the fact that uh, men are constructed to live in a, a world where they can just take what they want, we don't live in that world anymore. We're more sophisticated than that. Um, you know, there's a different dynamic. There's a different definition of fitness now, and it isn't uh, how big and fat you are or how many people you can sit on. Uh, you know, no, it's there's a different standard. Uh, you can't just take what you you want. You can't just say she made me do it. That's no excuse. No, you make you do stuff. You have to have the uh, intellectual strength to suppress your own fucking ego and put yourself in your place. 
and not allow every whimsical little fucktarded notion that comes into your fucking head. If you wake up some morning and say you want to eat some brains, you're just not allowed to go out and do it, fucktard. And that's the way it is. And we have to recognize there's consequences to things. And so this is another one of these. He calls himself a leftist libertarian, which is no fucking such thing. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, he has this idea that... Um, you know, everybody's making honest contracts, and the fact is, is that we don't get our porn the honest way. In a lot of circumstances, we're taking advantage of people who don't have other options in their life, desperate people. So, you know, you, you might say that you have a right to go screw some 12-year-old girl in Vietnam who's saying, you know, blow job, five dollar, five dollar. You know, you might think you have a right to exploit that person, that you're not doing anything wrong. Okay, but by any rational definition, you're doing something goddamn wrong. You're exploiting a circumstance, and you're exploiting a human being through that circumstance, and you can't deny that, you big fat pile of shit. Um, so there's a consequence. We have to take responsibility for that. So if you get your porn explicitly in an honest fashion, people who weren't extorted into it because we have this society that's built around these rich people and then these poor people, and uh, you're, you're going to take advantage of their circumstance, their willingness to sell themselves at a price because they don't have the freedom not to. They have to do it because it's too good an opportunity to let buy. There's too much they can buy food for their illegitimate kids or whatever. Um, so that's just bullshit to say your, your hands are clean because now there's a, lot of, there's a lot of sticky evil on them, jackass. There's a price to be paid. And we ought to pay the full price, the honorable price, the real price, and not take it shortcuts and do it on the cheap. And there's too much of that. And that compromises too many people. And uh, there's nothing wrong with taking some responsibility for that and accepting some responsibility. That's all some of these people want is you to accept some responsibility. You just can see there's a price to be paid for all this gluttony and pigotry and self-obsession and I want therefore I'm entitled she made me do it kind of bullshit there's a price to be paid for that people pay a price for that and all they might want is maybe not a law to stop it maybe not something else but just for these assholes to admit that the price is being paid and not pretend that it doesn't cost anybody anything because it does cost people something because people do get marginalized in all of this this um, this idolatry, this 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 the way we are constructed, um, where we do turn people into objects, um, we have to take some responsibility for that. And it's not that big a fucking goddamn deal, you you ungraceful pig. <laughs> you really are a fucking goddamn pig. So anyway, that's enough of a statement. I'm a little pissed off at Nuclear Night. I actually, I had a blocker because uh, she said something. She said something pleasant to a, a Ujama flipper or something on one of his videos or something. So I blocked her. Because really, I have no patience with you, jackasses. I'll just throw this on there real quick. Um, you keep talking about I have an obligation to respect, blah blah blah. I, I'm not disrespecting people. They're bringing the disrespect for me to first. And if you don't see that, that's your fucking problem. All right, but if you're going to comment on my videos, you're going to say something to me, you're going to do it respectfully or fuck you. I have no interest in your crap. I don't fucking graffiti on other people's videos. I don't, I don't play the games you're playing, and I, so I expect them not to be played against me. And that's just my fucking standard. You don't like it? Tough fucking shit. I will do what I can to obliterate your existence. And the two be serious, get off of it already, okay? I, am not, I, have, I have not harassed you in one fucking, fucking way at all. I haven't commented on any of your videos. I haven't gone near your channel page. If you make a public video stating certain things, I have a fucking right to respond to it. I didn't even play your video, I don't believe. I commented on what I perceived your video to be saying. I have a right to do that. And all this, this is where feminism goes backward. Uh, you know, pleading like I'm somehow harming you or doing something horrible to you. I'm not doing a goddamn thing to you. I'm not touching you. I'm touching the crap, the propaganda, the bullshit. You're, th you're putting these pretty images and these fucking words out there, and I'm going to argue against them, period. I have a right to do that. And I haven't fucking goddamn trespassed on you in one tiny, tiny way, and I'm not going to be lectured about it. So there's the other side of the feminist subject, is these women trying to take advantage like they're being victimized. What a pile of shit. So anyway, hopefully it's under 10 minutes, 11. Not very fascinating, but this was the, it was the boringest ponage video I ever saw. So if, if that's the worst you're going to get nuclear night, you, you, know, you got it pretty good because that was a pretty lame ponage video.
It was a, uh, a smelly fart at best. <laughs>